Howdy folks, today we're going to do another short clean water store instructional video. We're going to do this one for the Precision 24 chlorine metering pump and the subject specifically is going to be the injection check valve assembly and then we're also going to look at the injection check valve and see what it's made of. So the first thing is you'll have your service line and you'll have to cut your service line and you'll have to install a T. And the T is going to be the same diameter as your service line but you're going to have to reduce down depending on whether you already have a small service line or not but if you have one inch or three quarter you're going to bush down to half inch and if you had uh, half inch piping already you could bush down to three eighths so basically you're going to install your T and glue that in and you're going to put your bushing and glue that in and get your bushing in there and then you'll put a couple of wraps of Teflon paste ta tape around the uh, uh, the part that you're going to screw in, the male thread, and then you're going to screw it in to the male, to the female thread on the bushing. And now that end of it is installed. And at that point, even if you turn your water back on, when you go to make the connection here, you're going to see the parts inside in just a second that are holding the water back from going this way. So the point is, is once you have the injection check valve installed, you can unscrew it. Water's not going to come back out of here. So then you'll pass your tubing through the connector and through the collet and attach it to the cone. And you'll see the other video to figure out how to do that right. And then you'll have all of that with the tubing sticking out of it. And then you'll screw that on last and then you are done with installing the check valve. It's pretty easy as far as that goes. So now we are going to look at the injection check valve itself and the first three pieces that come off of it are the same three that I just showed you. Number one is your connector nut, number two is your collet, number three is the cone where the tube slips over. Now you have the barrel of the uh, injection check valve. When you unscrew that, the barrel has the green O-ring side that makes the positive seal facing up. The other side is actually hollow. There's nothing in there. That's just the barrel. The next two parts that are going to come out are going to be a black washer and this is where the watertight seal is made against those two pieces right there that's when you put it back together that's what's making the watertight seal right there and then the next piece is the white plastic which is what holds the ball on top of it it's what's holding the ball on top of it you notice it's like a little podium there so the wide part is facing toward the rest of the stuff and the narrow part that the ball sits on is pointed down toward the end of the injection check valve and then to get the point across is the spring is sitting on top of it when it's installed like that and this last piece is just empty that's where the spring goes into so you've basically got one two three four five six seven eight nine pieces to the check valve the spring is if you ever have troubles with the spring it's probably likely that a piece of debris gets in there so if you go in there and clean it out and get the spring un undebrid get the stuff out of it and then reinstall it that usually will uh, fix your check valve if the spring is completely toast uh, if the spring is unusable anymore then uh, you're probably going to be looking at getting another check valve but that's that's way down the line as far as it goes this is just an instructional video to let you know what the inside of it looks like Thank you very much.